Alrighty, so today's episode is the TF Riser, the Terrible Fire USB CD32 adapter. Um, and if you don't know what an uh, what, what one of these is for, on a CD32 you have a basically an edge connector at the back, and what this does is it allows you to connect a card like the TF328, the TF330, other cards as well, other. Um, other card suppliers are available um, and you need something like this um, you need something like this to be able to connect those cards but one of the things that those cards tend to also do is give you a video output and <coughs> excuse me it's been a contention of mine that there are certain things about um, certain things that you would do like IO that I would say suit being on the riser rather than the accelerator card. So one of the frequently asked questions I get is when am I going to put a parallel port on? When am I going to put a floppy port on? Blah, blah, blah. That sort of thing. And my answer is I'm not going to put those on the accelerator cards. I would always contend that these should go on the riser because the the riser is something that you could, you know, you could use, you could use those bits of hardware potentially without the CPU upgrade, okay? So on this particular card, we have a DB23 video connector and the idea with this 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 video connector is um, it's slightly different from the standards in that there's a there's like a, a video in and a video out on on this edge connector and the video in this is wired up to the video in so that a, um, a, something that provides video in to the CD32 you can capture it and, and look at it so um, so this will work with a full motion video card. However, there are some bugs with this at the moment and I need to fix them. Um, also, the uh, this is a an ARM STM32 with dual USB. So uh, an ARIC. ARIC has also been uh, credited on here. I, I, I actually can't pronounce his surname. I'm really sorry. I just call him Eric. <laughs> um, um, he has done a fantastic job on the USB firmware, so giving us um, keyboard, mouse, um, dual head com like combo device support, and also quite a lot of joysticks are supported. There are some bugs, some bugs on the um, on the, the 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 transfer, the way it all works, but. The idea was, I just wanted this, right? I, I want to plug this into my CD32, plug a wireless keyboard and mouse and a wireless joystick into it, and I want to sit on the other side of the room and, and just, you know, on, on have this on my big screen TV, and I want to not have these cables draping across. So that's the reason this came about. It's not 100% debugged yet. It will eventually get another revision. We'll get to revision 3 and do some more tweaks on it, but uh, other things have come up in the meantime. Um, Trying to think if there was any history with anything interesting with the history of it. Um, the this first one, this is the Rev One. I think we put a a video buffer chip on here, similar to a um, PlayStation. I think it's a PlayStation One or a PlayStation Two. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's a video buffer chip from the PlayStation. Quite good quality. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else. There were some bugs on the Rev One. I remember things were, weren't quite working, um, but things were massively better on the Rev Two. Um, Eric says he still sees glitches with with various reads and writes um, that we need to address on on this card. So we'll have a we'll have a think about what we we're going to do with this. Um, also. Um, there's a battery for the real time. There's a real time clock in here. I don't think we've tackled the real time clock in the firmware yet. So that's just basically the status of it. It's not a hundred percent ready, but you can actually build. This is open source, so and you can actually build it, and it's GPL. One of the one of my GPL cards. Um, it is GPL, but I would recommend that you don't build it yet because there will be another revision unless you're planning to sort of help us out and do some testing, etc., etc. Um, you need um, a Xilinx JTAG and you need the STM, an STM link, an ST link to program the, I think that's the only way you can, well, I actually think you can program it through the USB, but it's, it's a bit cumbersome. So anyway, that's the, the TF riser, um, not just by me, but 
with Arik as well. Um, yeah, hopefully this one, this guy will be up and running soon and we can, you know, we can have a wireless CD32 mouse and keyboard. And it does support wireless CD32 mouse, keyboard and joystick support, all of the above. And I know that some of you will say that's not possible, but we, we, we made it possible, okay? <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and have a good one.